A breast cyst. A cyst is a fluid-filled sac that can develop anywhere in the body, including breast tissue. They often result from hormonal changes during the menstrual cycle, and it's thought they happen when those milk glands we talked about fill with fluid. So they are a very common cause of a non-cancerous, that is benign, lump in the breast. Number two is a fibroadenoma. This is another very common benign or non-cancerous condition that causes a lump in the breast. It can also develop at any age, but more often it's found in younger women and teenagers. Apart from feeling smooth, it moves around easily under the skin, earning itself the nickname the breast mouse. Most fibroadenomas don't need treatment. You'll be asked to keep an eye on it to check if it's growing to keep examining your breasts and return to your GP if anything new develops. Surgery might be considered for complex, giant, or even juvenile fibroadenomas. It could be under general or local anesthesia. Essentially, most fibroadenomas will stay the same size. Some get smaller and eventually disappear with time. But some can get bigger like we've said, and this is more common in teenage girls during pregnancy, breastfeeding, or in a woman who's taking HRT. Number three, PASH. The next cause of a lump which is benign in the breast is something called PASH. PASH means pseudo angiomatous stromal hyperplasia. And if you break all that down, it simply refers to an abnormal growth of the connective tissue around the breast. It's a common cause of a painless lump that develops in women commonly before menopause, though it can happen at any age. It's also thought to be related to hormone balance or imbalance issues. Now, the size of the lump itself can vary from one person to the other. But the diagnosis for this condition is often pretty clear after you've had a mammogram, a scan and biopsy. PASH doesn't require any treatment. Often you'll be asked to monitor the lump and come back to see your doctor if you notice any changes. Number four, let's talk about fat necrosis and lipoma. Fat necrosis is a benign condition that causes a lump if an area of fatty tissue in the breast is damaged. Often this happens during surgery, radiotherapy to the chest, after a biopsy, or following other kinds of trauma to the chest, for example from a fall or a seat belt injury. The injury leads to the death of fatty cells, causing the lump to form. Trauma itself can also cause bleeding into the tissues, and this is something called a hematoma, which can also present as a lump in the breast. If you have fat necrosis, you may feel firm, round lumps in the breast, which some people find painful, although it can be painless. The skin around the injured area and the lump may look thicker, red, darker, bruised. Sometimes it might even look dimpled or with the nipple pulled in. Now, these changes may cause concern that this is breast cancer. And of course, it's one of the reasons why it's important that all types of lumps have to be checked out by your doctor. So different tests as usual, including a mammogram, breast scan, biopsy, will help to determine the correct diagnosis. In the case of fat necrosis, no treatment is usually required. It's harmless. Usually your body will break it down, although this can take several months to happen. If the lump is getting bigger though, or you find any other changes happening in the breast, for example, a nipple discharge, please go back to your doctor to have it looked at again. While we're on the subject of fat, have you heard of a lipoma? This is a benign growth of fat cells that can happen anywhere in the body, so it could also develop in the breasts. No injury happens before it starts to form. Breast lipomas are usually small, painless, soft, they feel like lumps, and they're lumps that feel like dough in texture. But if they are sitting or pressing on a nerve, they could cause pain. We don't know what causes them, but they may actually happen more often after there has been some injury to the breast, or if you have a family history with conditions that are associated to developing lipomas. Again, these are harmless, they don't require any treatment, but if they're causing pain or they're growing quite large and difficult to manage, they can be treated with surgery or a liposuction. Five is mastitis. Mastitis is a common cause of a painful lump in the breast that develops following an infection of the milk ducts 
and the tissues around it. Commonly, we have lactational mastitis, which develops in a woman just after having a baby, whether or not she's breastfeeding. And in this case, the milk ducts are infected. The lump is usually felt behind the nipple. The breast itself can be very painful, can feel hot, and the skin of the breast, especially around the lump and the nipple, can look red, bruised, or darker. Some women may also have a nipple discharge, and you might find their nipple is pulled in or inverted in some cases. But mastitis could also affect anybody else unrelated to pregnancy or breastfeeding. For example, people who smoke are more at risk of mastitis because the chemicals in the smoke could damage the ducts behind the nipple, making them prone to infection.